Remember how we just had two Will Smiths in the same exact movie? Well, now we have a new Netflix series that has two Paul Rudds. What could be better? What's going on everyone? I got a brand new Netflix TV series review for you guys today. This show comes out tomorrow on Friday and I've been actually really looking forward to this and that show is called Living With Yourself. This stars Paul Rudd as a man who undergoes an experimental treatment to improve his life but to only be replaced by a new and improved version of himself and must fight for his wife, his career, and his very identity. Before we get any further into this review guys, make sure again to comment down below. Let me know if you guys are excited for this. What are your guys' thoughts on it? Are you looking forward to it? Are you gonna be binging it let me know to, of course down below in the comments and make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so you guys never miss out on any early movie reviews early tv content and of course geeky content over here on a daily basis straight up from the concept i was in i was totally in hearing that paul rudd is gonna be playing two versions of himself one that's kind of living the life he's living his life sometimes depressed sometimes kind of just going through the motions and has been living for quite a long time and then we have a new paul rudd who's not that he's the popular one the one everyone wants to be, and that cool guy that you see down the street and you're like, damn, I wish I could be like him. It's going straight up to say this, this might be a comedy show, but I would go as more to say this is kind of a dark sci-fi comedy that does have its moments of emotionality. I can actually even point into here a little bit more on saying that Paul Rudd is fantastic in here. Like, Paul Rudd's a really good actor. But when it comes down to these comedic moments, these kind of dark comedies that do have a little bit more to say, I do think this show has a lot more to say. Than just what's on the surface of there being two Paul Rudds, there's more to say to this and kind of a perspective point of view that I think a lot of us are going to be taking into our lives now. When you put yourself in his shoes and after all this thing happens, could you imagine if a different version came into your life that wanted to take over and in a sense was also this new improved version of you? It's, it's kind of unique. Concept alone really works for this whole season one, and I actually really hope that we do end up getting a season two because the way that this season ended off was perfect, but also very uncomfortable with kind of also the same way that the show brings about this uncomfortability feeling. Dark comedies do that, and living with yourself accomplishes that to such a strand. Really, this show works because of Paul Rudd's wonderful performance of the two different versions of Miles. Of course, both those different versions of him have that lovability that Paul Rudd has to him, but you're always still cheering for that original one to come out on top. Especially when it comes down to the last episode of the season where there is a dance sequence between him and his wife, which really, when you when you have that music playing, I'm not going to spoil the artist, I'm kind of all in for that, but it's one of my favorite moments of it. It was one of the most satisfying and also most emotional to it. It's one of the things that I really have to acclaim to the writer in here, Timothy Greenberg, and of course the directors Jonathan Dayton and Valerie Ferris, is the way that they kind of balance the tones. A lot of tonal shifts happen to come here and there, rip from there and here that kind of balance from a dark to a comedy to even a sci-fi at times that I really at times could be a little bit jarring but this show made it work also of course a major shout out to Aisley B who plays the wife of Paul Rudd in this show she was fantastic and there's a lot of cool dynamics that happen to go around here and again it just comes down to how fun this concept could be of course with all those pros there could be a little bit of a con here and there and I think what it comes down to be is that there are certain elements that I think the show could have dived into just a bit more there's a lot of exploring that they go in here and then maybe it's just me that kind of thinks about it where I think there's a lot more to this perspective to this idea that you can kind of dive into more but for only a 30 minute per episode show you're kind of dealing on kind of just a surface dwelling things and I just think there's a little bit more that you could have dived into when it came to some of the segments even then when I'm saying this the way that they ended the season off I hope we get a season two because I love these characters and I love the idea of this I'll give you guys my final thoughts on living with yourself make sure to comment down below let me know what your guys thoughts are on this are you guys excited for it have you watched it already let's discuss it down below in the comments again hit that like and subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on any early movie reviews thank you to you for watching this thank you to my patreon supporters and if you guys want to check out movies early go hit up sandwich on films being with yourself gives paul rudd the great gravitas that he needs to give a fantastic performance in here this is one of my favorite comedic performances of the year and for this dark comedy while i think there should be more to say about this it does put a different perspective inside your brain as when you're watching this show and when you think about it and say if I was in his shoes and this was happening to me how would this affect me it's a different mindset into your brain as you're kind of watching the show and thinking about how your life would go the performances are great there are some great comedic moments and even though it, yes I said it's a dark comedy with sci-fi elements to it it can be a little bit uncomfortable with it but still I had a blast with living with yourself so with all that said I'm gonna give the show a B I know what your guys thoughts are on the show did you guys like it did you hate it let's discuss it down below in the comments guys thank you guys again so much for watching this and of course until next time
stay classy.